Just moments ago, Sun's majority owner Robert Sarver released a statement which reads, in part, while I disagree with some of the particulars of the NBA's report, I would like to apologize for my words and actions that offended our employees. I take full responsibility for what I have done. I am sorry for causing this pain, and these errors in judgment are not consistent with my personal philosophy or my values. For more now on this developing story, we say hello to our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, well, let's just start with your overall view of the findings of the league's investigation against Sarver. How would you describe what the league turned up here? Uh, John, certainly the league's uh, investigation and, and the hiring of a law firm to conduct it for them, over 300 interviews and uh, with different individuals and uh, a number of uh, whether it's text messages, emails, thousands of them, it mirrors uh, very greatly uh, Baxter Holmes' reporting in that uh, ESPN story last year. And certainly a lot of his reporting was backed up. There were some new uh, findings in the, the league's report. Uh, but, listen, it is significant. Uh, it is troubling. And I think there are a lot of people around the league today who think, that Robert Sarver is very fortunate to only have a one-year suspension, a $10 million fine, uh, and that this is not being taken to the league's Board of Governors for a vote on his removal as owner. And, Woj, what would that take procedurally for something like that to happen? Three-quarters of the league's owners would have to vote for his removal. It's certainly a high threshold. It's difficult uh, Adam Silver uh, did not go that far based on, uh, in his estimation, the findings uh, in this report. You know, this is the second most significant penalty for a league owner in history. The, the one-year suspension is the max, the 10-year, uh, the $10 million fine, certainly. Uh, but this has been a culture in Phoenix, endemic over Robert Sarver's 18 years. You see a lot of the uh, the findings just in this report and other reporting through the year, through the years, uh, has shown an environment um, that uh, a racial climate, an environment toward women uh, that was certainly, uh, and I think very likely unlike anywhere else in the NBA. But Robert Sarver, after a year away, uh, will be will be able to return to running that team with a number of provisions in place. Uh, to try to protect against uh, future employees in Phoenix being subject to this kind of behavior and, and frankly, this kind of abuse. Well, to your point, Woj, uh, the league in its statement today acknowledged that many employees felt the HR department in Phoenix was ineffective. Uh, they just didn't go to the HR department because they didn't feel like it would be responsive to their complaints. But look, uh, on a larger surface here, Woj, you know, for a league that projects this image of promoting the importance of diversity and inclusion. How bad a look is this for the NBA? Yeah, I think certainly the answer further uh, to how uh, they took these findings. And, you know, you read the full report, uh, you see the conduct, uh, again, mirroring, mirroring very much of what Baxter Holmes had reported a year ago. And I think people are going to expect you know, further explanation from Adam Silver. Uh, the leagues has, has their Board of Governor meetings the next couple days. The owners are in New York. Uh, Adam Silver probably light, usually speaks at the end uh, of those Board of Governor uh, meetings. And I think certainly there'll be more questions uh, about uh, the league's findings and, and why there was not a move to uh, essentially push Robert Sarver out of the league, but for now, one year, ten million dollars, and and both Baxter Holmes and I were told, you know, that Sarver was not accepting of that penalty. While many others look and feel like he's fortunate to have not lost the team or be in position uh, for a vote to lose the team, you know, that Sarver was difficult, and talks were acrimonious between the league and Sarver uh, about either voluntarily stepping away or now. Uh, being suspended for the year uh, by the NBA, uh, you know, certainly I think there's there'll be more on this story as, as time goes on. I think there'll still be more reporting to be done. 
Well, that's for sure. Woj, we thank you for your insider knowledge. Sage. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.